Not a bad day, not at all. As a matter of fact, across the entire nation, it's been quiet, which is certainly good news for Santa and everyone waiting for their gifts, right? Merry Christmas. Of course, Kwanzaa begins tomorrow and Hanukkah fourth night tonight. A mostly clear skies expected throughout the day, so we'll get plenty of sunshine. Chilly start though, but not a bad afternoon. We are tracking a few sprinkles and some rain later in the week. Right now though, temperatures are below freezing if you're out in the Hudson Valley, as well as parts of Connecticut there. Stanford coming in at 30. 24 out in Lindenhurst, 34 here in Manhattan. But check out the wind chill. This is what it feels like when you step outside. I mean, hopefully you're cozying it up indoors, but if you happen to step outside, just keep in mind you still want to add those layers. Don't get too brave. Want to dress appropriately. Wider view of things, very quiet. But this is our next rainmaker coming in from the west. And what we're going to get when all is said and done? Form of rain. So here's a look at what it feels like throughout the day. 40 later on this afternoon and uh, as we head into tomorrow morning, it'll feel more like 32. We'll be flirting with that 30 to 32 degree temperature range throughout a good part of the morning and then uh, Friday. 38 degrees. That's what it's going to feel like. We'll be back into the 40s and we do have a bump up later on as well. Today's highs. We got a little bit of a mixed bag happening to our north. We got temperatures in the 30s, but not too bad. 60s. Look at that. St. Louis, Lexington, Kentucky, 53 out in Cleveland. Tomorrow's highs uh, pretty much, you know, almost the same. 69 though in St. Louis. Nice. All right. So here's what's happening. Seven day forecast indicating that we are in the 40s today, tomorrow and check out Friday. We have a nice treat, 50 degrees, 50 as well out on Saturday. You need the umbrella for your Friday as well as Sunday. We are expecting rain, but it shouldn't be anything too bad. As a matter of fact, no severe weather expected, which is certainly good news so folks can get home safe as well.